Hi everyone, I'm Tim, and welcome back to QuizWorks Home Delivery. Today, we are going to continue our journey through the awesome book of Acts, and we're going to be reminded that, well, do it with me, the mission of the risen King Jesus cannot be stopped. Tim! Oh, hi Jem. Tell Digby and Nigel to let me play. No way, you can't play. Yeah, no way. Digby... What are you doing? We don't want Jim to play with us. Why not? Cause she's blue. And a girl. And she doesn't have a nose. Ew, how does she smell? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Tim? Uh, okay, look, Nigel and Digby, that doesn't sound very nice. But. Uh, no buts. We shouldn't go excluding people just because they're different to us. Why not? Because it's not nice. Well, no, it's not nice. But even more than that, God has shown that he welcomes all people, even if they might seem different to us. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, today, as we look at Acts chapter 10 in the Bible, we'll see that God wants all people to accept Jesus as their king, no matter what background they're from. Really? Really. And we're going to see the story of what happened. Oh, yeah. I love stories. Me too. Me three. Okay, but to fully understand this story, you need to know that there are two types of people in this story. There's the Jewish people. They were the people from Abraham's family. And in the Old Testament, they are known as God's chosen people. Oh, yeah. They're like the green puppets. No. Anyway, the second kind of people were Gentile people. Now, a Gentile person is anyone who is not a Jewish person. And Jewish people thought that Gentile people could not be friends with God. Oh, they're like the blue puppets. Oi. Oh, dear. Well, how about we just watch? All people are welcome in God's kingdom. Cornelius was a Roman centurion. That meant he got to command lots of soldiers. <laughs> I've heard hey, about fish. Quick march. <laughs> Cornelius was a really great guy. He was generous with his money and gave to those in need. Here, have this, and this, and this, and this. <laughs> he also loved God and prayed regularly. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. But Cornelius was a Gentile. And as a Gentile, it seemed that Cornelius could not be one of God's people. One day, at three o'clock in the afternoon, Cornelius was praying. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Suddenly, an angel of God appeared in front of him. What? <laughs> Cornelius! What? God has seen all that you have done. Now send some people to Joppa and find Peter. And just like that, the angel left. As soon as Cornelius had recovered, <laughs> he called three of his men together. Soldiers! <laughs> and told them to go to Joppa and find the apostle Peter. Joppa, Peter, go, go, yes, yes sir. sir. And so the men set off to find the Apostle Peter. <laughs> At midday the next day, the Apostle Peter was on the roof of a house in Joppa. Peter was praying. Thank you, God, for Jesus. Thank you, God, for Jesus. But while Peter prayed, he could smell his food being made, and he became hungry. Mmm, hungry food! And then, Peter had a vision. In his vision, he saw a large sheet coming down from heaven with all kinds of animals on it. Then Peter heard a voice from heaven saying, Get up, Peter. Kill and eat. Now, when Peter heard this, he said, No way, Lord! These animals are unclean for us Jews to eat! 
Do not call anything unclean that God has made clean. This same thing happened two more times. Get up, Peter. Kill and eat. No way, Lord. These animals are unclean for us Jews to eat. Do not call anything unclean that God has made clean. Kill and eat. No way, Lord. Do not call anything unclean that God has made clean. Then Peter woke up, wondering what this all meant. <laughs> what was that? Meanwhile, Cornelius's men had just arrived at Peter's house. <laughs> Excuse me, is Peter here? Now Peter knew that these men were Gentiles, and so usually he would not even associate with them. Mm-mm, mm-mm, nope, not here, nope. But Peter heard the Holy Spirit say to him, Peter, nothing should stop you going with these men. And so Peter went downstairs, and he went with the three men. <laughs> the next day, Peter and the three men arrived at Cornelius's house. When Peter went inside, Cornelius met him. Welcome! <laughs> welcome, welcome! Peter looked around and saw Gentiles everywhere. He said to Cornelius, You know that us Jews don't usually associate with you Gentiles, but God told me to come. Why did you send for me? Cornelius explained what he had seen. Well, pain, an angel, Peter, but you... Peter then started to speak. Let me tell you about the risen King Jesus. Everyone who repents and accepts him as king will be forgiven. When Cornelius and all those with him heard this, they did repent and accept Jesus as their king. Yes, Jesus is the king. He is the king. Suddenly, the Holy Spirit came on Cornelius and all who accepted Jesus. And Peter realised that everyone can accept Jesus as their king. All people are welcome in God's kingdom. The end. Oh, that was cool. Well, yeah. Acts chapter 10 shows us that all people are welcome to accept Jesus as their king. Even when they are different. Well, by himself, Peter may never have realised that Jesus' mission is for people all around the world. Even people who might seem different to us. Well, I guess if all people are welcome with Jesus... Even if they're not green... I guess we could let Jem play with us too. Woohoo! Thanks, guys! I'm going to go get my muddy lollipops. Oh, cool, and I'm going to go get my fairy bread. And I'm going to go get my frozen pizza. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, today we have seen that, do it with me, the mission of the risen King Jesus cannot be stopped. And this mission is for everyone. It's for you. It's for people like you. And it's for people who are very different from you. All people are welcome to accept Jesus as their king. Make sure you check out our discussion questions, activities and games to help you think about, pray about and tell others about the mission of the risen King Jesus. See you later, everyone.